Hi families, um, I've been working all day trying to manage and file and get everything into Teams. Now, number one is if you received this packet already and you picked up the hard copy, you can just do that and nothing else. That is an option, okay? The things that I've posted on Teams is this same packet. So everything that is on here is exactly what's on Teams. Okay, so I was just trying to make it in a format that might be easier for the kids to be able to do on their own. I did two checklists. Um, all of uh, the documents that I have put on there is under files. So if you go to files on Teams, then um, everything's under class materials. I'm going to email these two things, the checklist and the schedule, and you can choose which one you want. Some people wanted a list, which um, doesn't have any times, it just has the activities. I think there's 12 of them. And so you can print it off or go off of it however you want. But um, this is a, an Excel document, so you are able to um, mark uh, mark on it if you want so you can complete when it's done and each thing will earn the, the kids some SAS cash. Okay, so that is the checklist and then there's the option of a schedule. So if you would like to have your kids more on a schedule you can choose this one and you do not have to go by these exact times. Some people are going to be doing it uh, faster than others, but um, this is the daily schedule I put together. So every morning, 9.15, I will do a Zoom. You do not have to be a part of it if you do not want to, but there that will be an option. I'm gonna try to make the same number each time so your child can just put plug in that number into Zoom and then um, I'll be there and, and to uh, let them in from the waiting room. Okay, a waiting room is a safety protocol so that I know that the only people that are in my meeting are my kids, okay? So you can go through this as well. Again, all of these assignments, so it will say um, social emotional learning, that is exactly what the district gave me, social emotional learning. So everything is the same, okay? It's just going to be in multiple places. So I know that it's confusing, like where is everything? I have put it all in different places just so whatever you click on, you probably would get to it, okay? And I'm playing around with it and figuring things out as I go as well, okay? Now all assignments, can be turned in under the assignment area, okay? Um, uh, those will go active at eight in the morning, I'm sorry, nine in the morning. So um, as you can see, the daily check-in, 11 out of my 24 kids completed that. So tomorrow's daily check-in will go up tomorrow morning. And um, I made everything due on Sunday so that you have some leeway. You don't have to keep to a strict schedule if you do not want to. Okay, so, um, and then we have the SEL week one already there. Some things are for the full week, so you might be going to it multiple times until it is finished, and that is okay. It'll save it directly, whatever you're working on. Okay, so you'll have more assignments in there tomorrow. And then, if we go back over to files, on to class money. So the register's here, the register can be edited by the students. So if I do put something up there, so um, I'm gonna use Luke as an example because he went on and he added up the ones from this morning. So I had put on the Zoom from yesterday and he added it up and put in the total. So he has his Zoom and check-in for today that he can total, okay? So once they keep track of this, and add up and keep their balance updated, then they can actually spend some money. The menu for their money will be attached to a 
It will be under the file section and it's right here. It says SAS cache menu. So if you click on that, and scroll down, you will see the full menu. It says trading can be done when money registers are kept up to date, and you just post a message in Teams that you want to spend your money, okay? So we have stuffed animal uh, or toy somewhere out when we're doing a Zoom meeting, but it's not sharing. That's 25 cents. Eating or drinking politely during a Zoom meeting, 50 cents. If you want to share an item on their class Zoom, so you kind of get the spotlight for a little bit, that's an, a dollar. Um, if you would like to get a special letter from Mrs. Sass in the mail, a dollar. If you'd like a new book in the mail, that's a dollar fifty. I'll send one to you. If you would like to buy an activity pass where you have one activity on one day that you do not have to do, that is two dollars. If you would like a special Zoom meeting with a friend, that's $3. If you would like a lunch Zoom date with Mrs. Sass, that's $4. If you would like a doorstop surprise, that's $4.50. And if you would like Mrs. Sass to send you lunch through Grubhub, that's a whopping $5. But I will gladly take your uh, request and send you some lunch. So hopefully these are some things that will um, you'll enjoy earning. Now I know that seems like a lot of money, but if you are doing your assignments, you're gonna be rocking in the dough, okay? I mean, 50 cents for reading books. That's not gonna take you very long if you're reading every day, okay? So I'm hoping that this clears up some information. I know it's a big day tomorrow since it's so new. I know you've heard from me a lot in the last couple days, it will get better and you will hear from me less. Unless you want to hear from me, then I'm glad to do that. Okay, please let me know if you have any problems. I sent how to get onto Teams. This is my main form of communication. Okay, this is easier than email because all my files are there for everybody to get to at all times. Okay, so I need everybody to get onto Teams tomorrow. The kids have learned how to do that rather easily. So any form of Google, they would put in Microsoft 365. Now I'm already logged in, so it'll probably get me, I'm already here. So once they're in this area, wherever it says log in, they will go there and then they'll be asked to put in their 25 number at Washoe Schools and then the kids know how to get there from there, it will get them to this area, and Teams is already here. You can download the Teams app on any iPad or Kindle device and get into it rather quickly. So it should be simple once we get through it a few times, then, you'll, then it'll be really, really simple. Okay, so thank you for your time, and please let me know how I can help, and um, just be safe, enjoy. Um, I know I'm giving you a lot of information, so reach out to me if you need it. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Uh, Zoom meeting at 9.15.